Well, Sagittarius, you've given yourself a pretty full-on reading for April by the looks. A lot of people, it feels to me as though there are a lot of people in your reading because each of these first three cards have got specific, really close-up people in the actual visual perspective and so has the Temperance card as well. So I feel there's going to be something for you in April that involves perhaps close family members or yourself or people in your life that you are dealing with one way or another and that the energies around them also are quite potent. So you've got three major arcana cards too that are quite tightly grouped together and I feel that that also indicates April could be quite significant. You've got one sword and one cup. Now, if you've listened to any of the other readings, because it is a good idea to take a look at your rising signs as well. Um, they can also have uh, reflective or relative interpretation energies for the month for you, as well as your own um, sun sign. April is quite a potent month on the planet. In fact, so is March, because we have two quite um, strong eclipses occurring and eclipses tend to have an effect on people for around about six months and depending on where the eclipse is actually occurring in your particular zodiac area it will have an effect on that particular portion of your psyche if you like and so for some people they can be very um, awakening or opening periods of time and especially if you have teenagers in your house some teenagers can go through times of high fertility which is the high priestess often signals this and we see that there's a moon down here at her feet as well which could be the, the implications of the period or time frame of an eclipse when hormonal activity is altered in our physical bodies and it may not just be for the um, teenagers it may be also for older women who are going through a hormonal stage in their life as well these events can be really um, knocked up a gear or two at these time periods when some lunar eclipses or solar eclipses occur. So anyhow, let's come back to the start for the first week in April and we see here the Emperor. Now he's quite often considered a fire sign like yourselves, but even more so re related to an Aries and he can be almost acting as a father figure in your life. So you may find this man coming into your life, and it usually is a male, um, in some manner. He could be in a, as a supportive role, or he could be having something to do with specific objectives, such as paperwork or legalities or finances. He's very authoritative. Um, you could say he's a bit dominating, but he usually does things correctly. So this could also indicate for you at the beginning of April that you need to do things correctly. Um, if you're dealing with any formalities, do them the right way and make sure that they're being uh, formalised and finalised and handled in the correct orders because that, that's the energy that he puts out. For some of you, you may even find that this person comes into your life and you feel an attraction to him and he may be a little bit older than yourself. And it's not always necessarily a romantic attraction, but it can be just that you know when you find someone in your life and you just go, oh, I really like that person? They can just gel with you and they can be helpful in so many different ways. So keep your eyes out for someone along this lines. And if we think of him as health or finances, again, he's showing quite good strength and tenacity and, you know, the ability to hold firm and hold strong if anything negative comes in at all. You, you might be given the feeling of strength or support either from yourself or from someone around you. Now we come back here to the High Priestess and she is a lovely card and it's she's turned up I think for the Aries reading for April and it doesn't surprise me in many ways. She's almost the total epitome of um, high-end esoteric or spiritual value knowledge. So she holds on her lap the book of ancient and hidden or knowledge that a lot of people don't understand. So it's the spiritual um, entrance or connection key and she holds a lot of this. So you may either feel really spiritual in the month of April and again it is a time on the planet where 
for anybody who is involved in the Christian faith, it's the time of Easter. And we feel a lot of spiritual activity around the time of Easter. There's just a lot of um, positive light-filled sort of energies that come around and you can harness them to them and feel connected at one way or another. So she is here in April for you and she brings with her this spiritual connection and knowledge. And she, and she also has a great deal of fertility, which is also this cyclic feel we have down here connected to the moon again and the feeling of feminine cycles. So there could be some form of activity around your fertility cycles. It could be a good time for conceiving a child or even conceiving other idealistic principles because she's also conception at every level, not just the physicality. You may um, find yourself very sexually active or um, interested and likewise people may find you very, very appealing or active. And you might find a partner around these first two weeks or or a jump up in that sort of activity or interest heightened feeling she's also about balancing because we have the black and the white it's like fear and light or love and hate night and dark so there's a message in her card too about balancing your energies and balancing situations that you come across so rather than flashing up and roaring up into a f anger or tension or anxiety you it would pay for you to bring in some spiritual balance and uh temper anything out and of course we have the card sitting right above the temperance card and she's exactly as i've just said she also tells us to temper things in our lives and obtain that balance that we can try and seek um i'll come back to her at the end of the reading anyhow but she does seem to be passing out that message for the first two weeks of April. We come to the third week of April and we see yet again another person. <coughs> Excuse me. And he's the King of Swords. He can often be known as one of the ear signs and quite often a male. And often not necessarily young, but of the you know mid-age range. And when they turn up like this as trump cards, he's... He could be around you, so he could be someone in your life, either your partner or someone within your family or someone you work with. There could be issues with him. You may, if any disagreements come up with him, again, use temperance or balance. Um, he also insinuates balance because he holds this, the sword upright as if he's almost keeping the balance. He can be quite strong and determined. You, there's a lot of this in April for you, strong and determined people around. These first four cards show that. So there is this possibility that you've either got people around you who are wanting their say or their, their input or they support you or you're feeling particularly like it's time for you to say, right, listen to me, everyone. This is how I want it said and this is how I want it done. So... There is a feeling of strength of people around you for this whole April period or their strength or yours. Um, if we think of him in, in any way, he, he does tend to sort of take the, the floor a bit, especially with his thoughts and his words. So he, it, if he turns up, you either have to understand that he has a way of getting his own way. And again, you would need to balance it in temperance whatever it is he wants, for it to sort of congeal and work together. Otherwise, you could listen to what it is he has to say because he is quite an intellectual sort of person who does have some good ideas around him. And although I say he's an ear sign, he could just be exhibiting that sort of intellectuality or um, discernment. So it could be any male around you that's, that's creating this or has this feel about him. We come to the fourth week in April and we see the Ten of Cups. It's known as the Wish Card and, well, no, it's one of the Wish Cards. It's a beautiful, symbolic, dreamy, erythral card up in the heavens, joy, love, harmony, happiness. It's a beautiful card to have turn up in a reading. So the fourth week of April, it feels as though if you're wanting to have some gorgeous heart chakra energy come into you, it's, it's there for you to connect to either through enjoyment or pleasure or um, social outings or events, possibly even 
going to family occasions or a wedding or something along those lines or celebration of some sort. It's also the essence of a happy family, so the bonding and the happiness of families, that um, special feeling you get when things are flowing smoothly and there is general give and take and amiability all of those positives that's what the card exudes so if you looked at it from any perspective finances or health it's all about this finding the rainbow the pot of gold that wonderful feeling of yes you know i would like this feeling or this pleasure or this ecstasy to go on forever so you could get lost in this fourth week and enjoy those vibrations and if they if they're sort of distantly around focus on them and draw them in and, and make that happen create that even because it would seem that the universe will allow that time or essence for you to bring about an event maybe you're the one who plans a wonderful social gathering or occasion where everybody just has a great time together so that's a gorgeous card to have so if we come back to the temperance which is your overall energy card a major arcana so my philosophy on the major arcana is when they turn up it's a little bit more about the universe dealing you the cards rather than you dealing them and being able to control them. And there is a lot of this in the first half of April for you. So I think you might get some things that just happen that you can't really change. So you've got to learn to, so you have to learn to go with the flow and, and um, adjust the situations or learn from them primarily and say to yourself, okay, so this has cropped up. I either I need to address it in a certain way or I can sit back and listen and learn from it. Temperance is support. She, she is a beautiful angel balancing both herself on the land and in the water and at the same time in the air as well as balancing these fluids that she is pouring from these sacred cups. So the, whole, the entire card is about balance and temperance and it's possibly a time that suggests you may have even acquired this in your life and that you are really exuding and showing everyone else around you and creating balance and harmony and helping others in your life in that situation or that the card is saying use use this energy and make sure that you are bringing balance into your life it's either one or the other now I often think of this too that when I see this water in particular and indeed where she's surrounded by water so there's something about hydrating your body and making sure that you have enough water flowing through to um, pure and to create purity so any impurities are eked out and that includes what you take on board as well as food and any drug um, substances or any chemicals anything like that is a time of balance and creating that balance and healthy lifestyle particularly diet for you um, also about balancing your sleeping and your eating patterns as well so I think April might be a time for you where you could literally say to yourself okay I am going to bring in some of this newfound balance and I'm going to rebalance my life somehow have I been spending too much time either focused on one part of my life such as work or the materialistic side or have I been focused too much on the spiritual and not enough on my social and physical friends or family you know we sometimes get ourselves out of balance it, and it doesn't it's not obvious to us either it can sometimes be that we've just closed our eyes and we haven't seen the signs you know like looking in the distance and making sure that we are on the right path to where we're going so I think that card can sometimes just be a little gentle reminder for that and that would be the health messages that I get from it as well so other than that Sagittarius I think you've you've managed to get a really nice reading for April and as I say there are some pretty special energies around the planet and you might even choose to connect into some of those and feel that lovely harmony that's here. So anyhow let's have a look at your high vibrational energy card and see what message is imparted for you there as well. I might just spread them And pick one from in here. Safi Cal Romance. Well that's quite nice isn't it? And we certainly saw a lot of people in your reading. 
a lot of energies of people in and around your reading. So I felt that somehow the physicality of people in your life in the month of April was going to be uh, relative and we get this gorgeous red and orange, so base and sacral energies coming through, which is quite often um, areas of sexuality. And we had that, of course, with the high priestess and we see the romance. And of course, so many of us on the planet are seek romance and you you know romance is about enjoyment and pleasure and harmony and love and light and when they all connect together and they connect with another soul then we create this wonderful romance um, and it is a gift it's a gift of of all those positive energies some of the words from the book, they're quite beautiful as well. Zafikal is aware of the yearnings that currently exude from your heart and intuitively receives the strong desire in your emotional body for the joy of romance, whether this be a new love or an existing romance or relationship. This stirring is often related to the fact that an ideal of love has not been experienced for some time. Explore this notion, truly identifying what that could be. The angels are returning you to a higher vibration of love, so don't cling tightly to the idea of love from your past, and be prepared to embark on a new way of loving. This is a time of wondrous change in your loving propensities. Trust that Zafikal will work this out for you for your highest good. So there you are, Sagittarius. It can be about reigniting um, current relationships as well and bringing that spark back in and possibly in the form of a new format, or there may be new ideas or feelings of romance coming to you. So let the, it's about bringing in the future with you and reigniting um, the happiness and joy that is connected with romance.